All right, so we're doing peach strips. to do see if it's producing any kind of heat put the thermostat right there you see I was going up to 66 70 74 78 80 83 85 man that heat pumps working nice 90, 91, 92, 94, 96. damn, it's still climbing, 96, hmm, all righty, dang it, I didn't bring my bring my drill which is okay we'll do this old school first thing we got to open it up take this off temperature starts to drop as soon as I open up the lid but I want to see if I'm getting any kind of amperage I'm gonna use our electric meter turn it on nothing 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 so it's not getting no kind of amps. Uh -uh. So it means this heat strip's not working. This is strictly working off the heat pump. So we're gonna have to remove this whole unit right here. Take it all out. But the first thing we need to do is kill the power up here. Disconnect, turn it off. Unit is off. Put the disconnect up there. Now we're gonna check to make sure that we can work safely. We're gonna check the amps here. We got nothing. Voltage. Nothing. All right. So we can actually start the work. And first thing we need to do is disconnect the high voltage. All right, red on the right, RR, red on the right. Red, it's actually white, but they got the red tape. So let's go ahead and take this sucker off. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Take this bitch off. Red on the right, remember that. This is your high voltage. I'm gonna leave that in there, 240. We have to disconnect off so we're good, we're safe. And we need to take out three screws. One, two, three. To take out this heat kit. And of course, disconnect the, the electric harness. There's one. The one that we got from Robert Madden Industries looks a little different. And uh, I have the camera attached to my chest, so I apologize if it's not that quality great video. 
take this little thing off and voila you see this this is what came off all in one just like that we'll put it right there get the new one out and we're just gonna kind of compare it just to make sure it's similar you got the screws one two I don't know about that third one it looks like we could go in here but as long as it fits in there nicely this is the th this is the new one so it's gonna go in there just like nah. you have to be careful when you're installing it you don't want to damage anything so be careful all right so now just have to align the holes now these people were getting heat from the uh, heat pump not from the oh damn okay that there i think it's the wrong screw so <clears throat> Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take this one out because this one actually goes to the cover. The air handler cover. Put that back. Put the right screw, which is they're actually a little bit smaller. So this is a 10kW. Alrighty. And Pretty much it, really. And then you're gonna connect the high voltage there. Let's go ahead and do that first. Take that off. Remember, the red went on the right. And that was the R. That's a, I do that a lot, word association. I used to do that a lot when I was in school. So, all right, red. Just make sure it goes in there nicely. There you go. And then we're gonna tighten that sucker. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. And then now the black one, same thing. Make sure it's nice and tight. You know, the AC business, a lot of times, it seems, you know, people that are not in the know can be pretty intimidating. But to be quite honest with you, a lot of the stuff is common sense, you know, just swapping out. If you are mechanically inclined, you should be okay. I'd like to put another screw there, but I'm going to have to go get my drill for that. But let's go ahead and connect the, pla the harness. Du, du, du. You know what? I don't like this one. This one I'm gonna. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and take that wire like that. <laughs> now we can put it in there. That purple wire was on that side. I got caught behind this one leg. <clears throat> now we can plug it in. And this thing is only, it only goes in one way. So, holy shit, maybe it doesn't, maybe it doesn't match. Yeah, you see? Okay, it goes in like that. There you go, plug it in. Now, we're gonna test it. Just to make sure, before we turn on the power, that everything is connected. Everything looks, all the, check all the plugs, make sure everything's good. <clears throat> Everything's looking looking okay. All right. Holy shit. Okay. See if it turns on. 
I got 101 coming in here. That's kind of weird. But that's because they have that heat thing outside. So right now it should be on standby. It should turn on. Let me see if we got voltage. Yeah, we got 245. So we're good there. Do, do, do. You know what? Let me check. Let me check to see if we didn't pop a fuse. Yeah, the fuse is still good. So let's put it back in there. All right, so right now it's just on standby. I think we should be golden. You know what we're gonna do is, let me put it, let me just put one of the screws just to kind of, just to get some heat, maximum heat. We'll leave everything here. And uh, see what the deal is. But that's pretty 